Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. So this time we're looking at these little Agco inline bilers and also the old trailer pack. Both by the same mod creator and the bilers do go with one of these trailers as well. So got the two challenge variations of the bailer down here. We've got a Massey and a Fent variation up in a field there where there's some swaths of straw. So take a look at these bailers. These are nice little bailers. All of them come with a tow hook on the back. We've got two configuration options with a bail slide and also a bail thrower. The thrower configuration is up the field with a Massey and it's that one that goes with one of those trailers in this case. So these look really well made and textured. I've been really hoping that something like this came out. Got a nice little touch for the auto lube system on the side there. Decals are nice and clear as you get right up to them. We've got the fan on top there. Pickup is nicely detailed down there. Got numerous wheel options. So we've got a trolley walk option there. And another trolley walk option there. So there's a few trolley walk options and lizard option as well. Then got these trailers, we've got two chrome versions, got green metal and red metal version, and wooden sides which do look nicely textured as does the floor and the chain on there. For these are tires, there's lots of configuration options for these as well in the shop which we'll go through. And we've got the plain one here, mincing version, probably pronounced that completely wrong. All got tow hooks on the back. Um, the metal looks aged on there. Just everything looks nicely made. Wheels all nicely attached, everything in place as it should be. So at some point there may be a sledge arrive, please. Who knows? <clears throat> so this one is the Heston 70th anniversary version then we've just got the Plain Challenger yellow one there if we head up to the field here we colour match the tractors and the bowlers so we've got the little Fent 8040 on here little 300 series Fent tractor dynamic hoses all connected to the should do. It's just the electric cable. See the bale slide unfolds and then the hitch comes out. Haven't tried running these yet. Got lizard tires on this one. I think from memory. This was done with the Lexian 8900 so it should be quite interesting to see how quick the bales fall. Fan turns above the knotters there. I think we'll be chucking bales out quite quickly. It's more to test out the baler's performance for wide swaths and everything. <clears throat> Seems to be coping with them okay. Just want to have a look at the bales as well. be 900,000 litres there. So 1,000 litre bales. <clears throat> the textures of them, very good. Three strings. Dropping in line as well at the moment. So it's nice to have a wide pickup, which isn't missing stuff coming down here. Not going to test them out on grass and everything. Pick up fruits over the ground nicely. Feed the forks in there, pushing in well. Even 
for a boost load of course are still collecting. So all good in that respect. Do just cut through the side of the uh, chamber there, which is unfortunate. We'll carry one with us. Meant to do that, of course. So, a thousand litres, let's not chuck it in there. I hope some of them have been. I mean, that one is discharged as well, and it's whilst cutting through, I guess. Have a look at the Massey one next because obviously that's the most commonly seen variant over there in the UK. Quite proper with contractors. And we've also got the bale throw wagon on the back. So this has got the bale throw on, which we'll have a look at running. We've also got the red and green crone trailer. As you can see, it's all really nicely textured and put together here. Te nicely textured groups and everything. So we'll get the heads up as well. So fold the bailer, which just pushes the drawbar out. Unfold the tipper. takes the ropes off the side and puts them back up as we can see there. Under the closed cover takes the ropes off the front so we can actually throw the bales in. It's interesting to see what uh, happens there. Tip left, tip right, grind door. And unload hair. So this could be interesting once we've got a load on board. Let's start the bailer going first. Animation on belts there, which is good. Now we know I've looked at a uh, New, New Holland bailer before with the uh, bail throwers on. Which got nicknamed the bail cannon. Interest to see how this one works. So let's see how that catapults bow up into there. It's feeding nicely there, actually. They keep going once uh, they've been thrown. They don't stop in mid-air how they were on the New Holland. I'm liking this. I really am, actually. Just want to see how we unload them, really. I do like these conventional bales when they come out. <clears throat> I think this has to be my favourite one so far. High capacity, oh, and we've had our first bale miss. It's going to happen sooner or later. Let's see how many we 
can go in here. Let's get the important thing how we do this and uh, how we get files in there of it. Take a lot of files. It just seems to work really well. So compliments to the modder on getting this file throw animation to work perfectly on there. As before with the old one, if I stopped there, the bell would have st sat in mid-air. So I've got that just right. Brilliant. One thing I would like to maybe see come there is an auto load function this trial, but we'll stack them in it. And we had the one in 17 and 15 before that, I believe, with welder. Just doing what it should do. Bales aren't really uh, falling out of there. We only had one miss, which would be uh, what could happen anyway in reality. If I go slightly off course there, that's two. That's what I'm doing really. That's just the miss there. I do need to try and keep it in a straight line with this trailer. Well, I have to say I am quite impressed with this. It's difficult to actually find a fault with it. I've got a crop flow going in nice today. Just working as it should do. So we'll just do this one more swath. Then we'll have a look and see if we can get it empty. I really don't fancy the hunter unload that by hand somehow. Nice that they have 1,000 litre barrels as well, because they can come in handy for certain animal pens. Certainly um, those that want to play with the horses. Do some hay bales and manually put them in, same with small scale sheep. I mean, if you want to do start from scratch, we can now do small bales, because this is fairly cheap as well. Don't keep up on the track to go down the hill. So we've got a lot of bales in there. So you have to turn it off to discharge them. Then uh, turn it back on to get the bales thrown up into the wagon. Got a bit of thought into where we try and empty this. So 
put the ropes back across the front there. So, if we now get the displays up, we'll get it to tip side right, I think. Up and cover. And this could be interesting. So, it looks to me like to uh, unload that trailer, it's going to be a manual job. Yep, so manual unloading. There's no auto load script or anything up there. So that's about the only downside I can pick with this. It is going to take some doing to unload this. So let's have a look at these in the shop now. Just save that first. So in trailers, we'll do them first, this is the first one we come to. We've got the three here, you see you have 6,000 pounds, which is nothing really. So there's our base version. We've got all the colour choices. We've got design colour there for tarps and the uh, framework. And we've got the colour choices in here as well. So we've got the 8 tonne tipper, built up, 10.5, with the tarp, 13, with the tarp, the HD bale build up, which that's where your design colour comes in as you can see, and a small bale trailer. Bale trailer medium, bale trailers no side walls, no side or back, no back, cover trailer, back to 8 ton tipper, so you see there's a lot of options there, lizard standard, smaller standard, back to that one, trolley bulk in 404s, 421s, back to 404s, We've then got the brands in here. So lots of choice there. Pretty much same options throughout all as you can see. So we'll go through all of them, listing them all, but all the same options with everything no difference in there no difference in wheel options but you've got three bases to choose from there of the same trailer so that's the trailer the balers are here see 27900 there's on your lizard wheels. You've got Trelly Borg, 421s, 305s, 404s, SK 800s, back to 421s. So on your lizard is the other option. Bail slide or thrower. Brand Massey, 70th anniversary Heston. So you'd have that with a Massey. Challenger. Challenger with 70th anniversary. Fent. And of course we've got the colour choices in here. 
and the room colors again anything you want in there so 30 pound for the battle slide of 4330 for the thrower to get it looking decent maybe that sort of spec have it as a massey you're looking 32 230 for that it's a really really nice baler 12k forward speed needs 50 horsepower and 1000 litre bales really good mod in my opinion worth a download and I think I'll certainly be using it in some places but on that note that's where we're going to leave this video so for now I will say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one goodbye for now